year 11s i hope you had a good back to school um in this video before we switch off i'm going to talk about two very important things i'm going to be talking about your a level choices and the potential heartbreak in that and i'm going to be talking about how you can influence your teachers to um improve your grades so um let's talk about a level choices first of all now i know this is not the bit that most of you are interested in so just go and look at the timestamp down below and you can skip forward to the next bit but please this is really important which is why i'm starting with it it is about this time of year that you start to you know do taster sessions maybe after easter think about putting in your forms for your a level choices it is really really worth spending some time over easter because you know normally i'll be telling you you have to revise loads but you don't have to revise loads because there are no exams anyway um spend a day over easter looking at universities what the entrance requirements are for university courses and checking that your a levels will get you onto a university course that you want to do because um it is not something that people when you relevant relevant generally do they just go i want to do these a levels because i like that teacher and i think i'm gonna get a b in that a level but so often when we get to this time in year 12 and we start thinking about ucas applications people realize they don't have the right combination of a levels to get onto their dream course so if you want to be an architect chances are you're going to need maths or physics um if you want to go into medicine you are going to need chemistry i think chemistry is more important than biology for medicine but if that's not something you know now and then for um medicine you choose biology physics and maths without chemistry you're going to be stuck and you're going to either have to repeat or do something different and it is absolutely heartbreaking to have that conversation with a student when they realize they don't have a level maths at the end of year 12 and they either have to start um year 12 again and repeat it with a different set of a levels or they just have to go to university and do something different now if you don't know what you want to do at university yet that's absolutely fine um just go through and have a look at see what is interesting for you and then see if there's like a nice crossover of the entry requirements or think about facilitating subjects so kind of like harder traditional subjects um so like sciences maths modern foreign languages geography all of these ones show off a really good range of skills that universities are looking for but now is the time to um, fix a problem that we don't want to have in year 12 i every single year get messages from students in year 12 saying what can i do about this i don't have the right set of levels and the choices are pick something different to do at university or start year 12 again and it's horrible to have to keep giving out that message but the reason i want you to start thinking about it now is so that you are not one of those people emailing me saying what can i do about my wrong a-level choices anyway that was the bit that was important but absolutely nobody is interested in now we're on to the bit of how you can actually get your teachers to give you better grades because every single school is being left to come up with its own way of grading based on evidence and the school can decide what evidence that is now you can make your life teachers lives easier by helping them with that evidence so i am talking about things like doing all of your homework getting it in on time um getting you know not not leaving it or forgetting it or handing it in late those are the little things that we should be doing anyway but making sure you do everything and then maybe at the end of your homework maybe there's kind of like 10 questions for homework um go and find a couple more questions from um an exam paper or something and add them on at the end prove to your teachers that you are working hard that you are capable and that you can do this now there's lots of um talk about the exams that are being released after easter how schools are going to use these is really really dependent on the individual schools and 
it is looking unlikely that the exam boards are just going to say, look, here is a maths paper for you to go and learn the answers to. What they're probably more likely to go and do is saying, look, here we are, a load of maths questions with the answers. And it would basically be impossible for you to learn the answers to every single maths question, or every single science question, every single French question that they release. So I'm suggesting that you don't do that because what's going to be likely is our teachers are going to pick and choose which questions they use to make into an assessment to give it to you. So there might be a bank of 200 questions that released and out of that your teachers might pick 10 questions to give you in um, a mock exam. So it is going to be impossible for you to learn the answers to every single question but we can use them as revision. So it is really, really worth trying to do as many papers as possible. And then once you've done the papers, show them to your teachers. Your teachers are not mind readers. They are never going to know how hard you are working at home if you don't tell them. So get yourself a nice folder and loving the stationery, label it with a pretty sticker and then put the folders in there and you know you can give this to a teacher and say look these are all the past papers that I've done, this is the mistake that I made and this is where I tried another question and this is where I've improved on it. So prove to your teachers you are actually doing the work. Things that won't work are bribing teachers, giving them extra things and things that definitely will not work are threatening teachers. Um, chances are as soon as an email trying to influence the teacher's grade comes through in a negative way, um, that's going to be forwarded straight to the head of the department, that's going to be forwarded straight to the head teacher. Um, there's no way you're going to be able to get away with that. But you can help your teachers by providing them with easy evidence that they can use to see how awesome you are. And there are loads and loads of different ways you can do this. But one of the best ways are doing practice um, papers. So either from the examples website or the ones over on my website. And you can just do these and then, you know, give them to your teachers and say, this is what I did well at, this is what I didn't do well at, this is what I'm going to do about it. So if you were kind of like, oh, I'm really good at algebra, but I really struggled with the, you know, quadratic equations. So I went away and I did a whole load of questions from this website um, on quadratic equations. There are so many things you can do like that to help you um, get a better grade. Um, so this situation is absolutely awful at the moment, um, but we do have a glorious two weeks of Easter holidays. So get outside and go and feed the ducks and do nice things and prioritise looking after your mental health. Do not spend so much time doing practice papers and practice questions that you don't enjoy being able to start um, walking around a little bit and seeing people outside, socially distanced of course. Um, anyway guys, um, the good news for you is that I have loads and loads of A-level stuff ready and waiting coming for you. So A-level sciences, biology, chemistry, psychology, A-level maths, um, for A-levels it's going to be awesome. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.